Hey everybody, it's Joanne from Artsy Light Tarot. Thanks for checking out this message. Doing a reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It's going to tap into the energy that surrounds you at this time. You want to see how the person that currently is on your mind is feeling, how you feel about them, the shared connection, and then the outcome. So if you're a cross watcher here for the sign of Virgo, remember flip, switch the roles, energies, do not force any messages. Only take that which resonates to your story. If it isn't your story, check out other placements. So show me the energy of the person that's energetically connecting to Virgo. Pain. Five of Swords. Definitely picking up Five of Swords on that. Show me Virgo's energy towards this person. How is Virgo feeling? So stock illuminate. Feeling feeling left behind in some regard, not feeling connected, and then butterflies in the reverse. Okay, so I will elaborate this and clarify with tarot. But you are seeing something clearly. I do feel that in regards to some situation that caused a lot of pain. There was some betrayal here for sure. Um, show me the shared, and then there's children, possibly impacting children, or someone is childlike. And then the outcome between you and this person. Show me the outcome. Sorry. The nails look good, but they're really not practical for picking up thin objects. So it says moving. So there's energy. There's definitely movement occurring at this time. Bottom of the deck energy, we have emotions. So definitely someone is experiencing a lot of heartbreak and pain due to some type of betrayal. There's a lot of emotions in play here. It says like waves in and out crashing. Unpredictable energy. So very chaotic energy at this time is what I'm picking up that may be impacting children. There's an energy of feeling la uh, a cycle is not closed and that you are not feeling complete at this time. I'm going to use this deck. Okay, so I'm going to clarify this now with tarot. It has been brought to my attention that people are soliciting my subscribers for readings. I will never contact you personally. If you would be interested in a personal, I do have them available and you can connect with me through the website uh, email that I provide. All right. So don't get scammed. Clarify this person that's energetically connecting to Virgo. Why is the pain card here? Show me this pain. What have we got here? The hermit in the reverse, which is Virgo energy, king of swords. King of Swords represents Libra, so just energy, but someone is stuck. An energy of someone being stuck, but then there's momentum. There is movement, Eight of Wands towards Five of Cups. So heavy energy here, Virgo, right? It's clarifying pain because there's heartbreak. You receive some information about this person, flip it, switch it, right? That broke your heart, that devastated you. And it could have really came out of nowhere. I'm feeling with this Eight of Wands energy, Eight of Wands, Sagittarius, Five of Cups, Water, Scorpio, King of Swords. Like I said, that's Libra energy and the Hermit is Virgo. So lots of different um, signs here. I do feel a lot of emotions in this Five of Cups. However, a lot of tears have been shed. I feel there's a lot of secrets here, clearly with the moon here being drawn um, to my attention at the back of the card. Okay, so your person is feeling this way about you or, the, or you feel this way about this person. This person made you feel this way. So as it resonates to your story, but that's the energy of the cards, right? The Hermit in the reverse indicates the cycle is still playing out and someone has not learned their lessons. So this person um, may be experiencing pain now that they have lost you or, or realize how this has impacted children. But I'm going to definitely have to get some more energy on that. I'm going to put these cards back into the deck now. And I am going to clarify your energy, Virgo. So if you're watching um, this on TikTok, it's going to go over 10 minutes. So you'll have to watch the rest of it on uh, YouTube. I will have an extended for this video as well that you can check out if you're interested. So show me Virgo's energy. Why is butterflies here in the reverse for Virgo's energy? This deck is fluid, I tell you. Eight of Wands, so Sagittarius again, momentum. There's there's definitely been um, some action between you and this person that caused pain. Clarifying the butterflies, it says feeling complete, can't stop smiling, happiness, devotion. So feeling betrayed, feeling empty, feeling scared and lost. You received some type of information or clarity in regards to something that caused you a lot of pain. 
the devil, possibly created out of a place of fear. Someone was operating from a low vibrational place. And now you see it for what it is with the devil. Capricorn energy through the king of cups could have been dealing with a water sign, a Pisces. Someone that you definitely had a lot of love for. Definitely is under devil energy and is not dealing with the consequences of their choice. So I do feel that they made choices that impacted you, possibly impacted a family, caused a lot of betrayal and heartbreak. And this person is trying to run from their karma is what I feel. Eight of Wands is showing me that karma is coming. There will be deliverance delivered to this person that caused such an incomplete feeling. Again, a cycle is yet to be complete. Give me more energy on this Eight of Wands spirit. More energy on the Eight of Wands. High Priestess. So secrets. Someone's keeping secrets. Indeed. I feel, Virgo, that you're connected to the divine at this time. You are paying attention to your intuition. Right? You are dialed in at this time. You're possibly receiving downloads with the Eight of Wands. The High Priestess energy. Clarifying Three of Swords. Clarifying you are receiving downloads in regards to this heartbreak. Possibly this person put you in third party with Three of Swords energy. Right? This person stabbed you multiple times. So betrayal, heartbreak, deception, very much so because of secrets. So I'm going to clarify the children now. I'll, I'll leave that there. I feel like leaving that there. Clarify the children card for the shared outcome. Why is the children card here, spirit? The fool. Because they're innocent. Someone was possibly childlike in a way that they... Um, treated a situation or connection someone was foolish in a connection that caused heartbreak and pain in a family that impacted children and then the hair font someone that affected a marriage right so some type of um, situation where that is governed by a legislation of, or like um, <clears throat> a sanctity of something right like a marriage it could also be the legal system right could be children's services it is it is verifying clarifying children hopefully that's not your story but there is very much an energy of dark heaviness that has impacted children here i cannot avoid that six of six of pentacles though is the bottom of the deck and the empress in the reverse so the empress is the mother so the mother was disrespected because somebody took a gamble six of pentacles could be about balance but can also be about giving to more than one thing Right? I'm kind of feeling like that fly is representing devil energy. This person was definitely um, following ego or something. Definitely not being connected. And then two of cups. This person's possibly struggling with their sexual identity. This person's probably deceptive in regards to sexual matters. This person's promiscuous is what I feel with this two of cups. This person was cheating could have even been of the same sex and then we've got strength and this has caused a lot of heartbreak and pain this has been very difficult leo energy clarifying that this outside connection this third party affected a family this person devastated a connection a family is what i feel with and then strength card is leo we've got two of cups which is cancer the hierophant and the fool aries energy so moving is going to be the outcome between you and this person virgo Get some more energy on that moving. Ten of swords in the reverse. So you are removing the swords, Virgo. You're ripping the swords out of your back that this person put in them. And you're moving. Yes, you're moving away. So ten of swords is about being betrayed. And the end of a cycle with this person that betrayed you in the reverse to me it's a releasing of it and it's clarifying the moving so validating that you are releasing this person's betrayal it doesn't hurt quite like it used to even though it is still causing a lot of chaos within a home within a family situation where there was once a lot of love ten of swords to the knight of cups you're moving forward with your heart open you're raising your vibration i feel with this um ten of swords in the reverse knight of cups energy this is lovely i feel that you are trusting your spirit guides and your angels and you're investing in yourself at this time knight of cups energy that's scorpio so moving on i feel you're moving on 
Now I'm going to leave it there, Virgo, if you're interested in seeing how your person's moving on. I am going to pick that up in the extended. If this is where we part, I do uh, appreciate you checking out this message. Please like, comment, let me know if it's your story. Follow me on TikTok and YouTube. Take care, Virgo.